Good evening, Sim Racing fans, and welcome to round six of the 2024 eNASCAR Coca Cola iRacing Series. Field in the hands of the 51 of Donovan Strauss, race number six of 2024. Slow roll to the restart zone. Let's go racing at Dover. Nose to nose at the end of the first mile, lead to Wilson on the outside of the racetrack. Better start than the pole sitter Strauss. They'll stay side by side. Watching on from third is Parker White. Well, it's well, a tough condition to handle, especially when you're in the middle of a spire sandwich between uh, Malik Ray and Casey Kerwin as they squeeze off a four contact on the straightaway. But man, just crazy racing there. But you talk about uh, Michael Cozy Jr. He was one of the guys we saw really early on testing the waters, right? Flirting with that top lane, right? And while it gains you speed, it gains you track position, it also cooks your tires a lot quicker than those guys around you. So uh, Michael Cozy Jr. feeling the effects of that, but that's Michael Cozy Jr., right? No fear, throwing it all out there, letting it all hang out. Back to the race lead goes the 10 and the 97 of Tucker Minter. Going to follow oh. through as a huge wreck on the front straight. Oh! And to no surprise, just happened to be that battle that we had just looked away from as the battle for the race lead was on. Malik Ray involved. So is the 38 of Cozy. This race. So this next run could be very, very interesting. Let's take a Almost look at what prophetic happened. that you had said at the start of the race, 80 was where that would get interesting. Let's take a second look. Malik Ray, Taylor Hurst, they get into each other, center off a three and four, and... That's how it ended. Her sideways into the left rear, or right rear, I should say, Malik Ray off the corner, and, and they take a couple other cars with them. Back we'll underway here at Dover Motor Speedway. The green flag is back out, and this is, for the most part, how they left pit road, Ryan. You can see Honeycutt is able to grab the top spot. Garrett Maines gained a couple of positions as well. Strauss, and then how about Derek Bordeaux able to implement some strategy here? Uh, to get up towards the front. The last time through, and on the bottom of your screen, side by side for the P5 spot, Garrett Mains and Bobby Zelensky. No. He pushed way up on the 12 that time off of the corner, ran him out of space and almost lost it. He doesn't back out, though, and here comes the 34 of Derek Bordeaux. See how aggressive Zelensky has to side draft to try and get clear of Ains. He washes up the racetrack. They touch. Oh, this is going to get tied off the exit of four as they somehow make it happen. And we saw Zelensky last week. He got a little physical to pass Steven Wilson. But you may see the dividends of it, the benefits that he's able to reap from it. If you're going to kind of use the driver up like that, well, the best thing you can do is get gone. And that's what Zelensky will try to do for that fifth position. But again, this shows you how difficult it has become, especially off the of turn four. We see so many drivers even running the high side sliding around to complete that pass. You have to work so hard to be able to get it done on the bottom. And you're almost kind of have, having to use that driver up top as Mains will try to recollect himself and try to hold off for six. Kerwin's got a front row seat as his 77 car watches on. He picks the top side for the moment. Big out of shape for the 66. And it sounds like that 77 to Kerwin Blake might be shifting. Indeed he is. I mean, you can look at look at his right hand here as he'll go off into the corner. And yep, you can see him shifting down the front stretch and then down shifting uh, into turn four as they get into three. And he is all over the back of Colin Keister. He's going to wash up the racetrack, and they're not going to no. make it. Crash on the front straightaway. Kerwin, Keister, and Garrett Maines involved. Jordy Lopez may have got a piece of it at the tail end. Caution is out with 35 to go. And that is how quickly things can go south here as Kerwin looked to the bottom three wide as Keister was struggling. And this sets us up for a 30-lap or so dash to the end of this one. Or four cars go for the two-tire decision. That run wasn't too dissimilar from the first one. We'll keep an eye to see what the decisions are, Blake, as we take a second look. You know, see Keister, again, you do get a little bit of arrow loose with Kerwin right behind him, and you can see with Kerwin making the move to the bottom, he slides up, mains perhaps a little bit loose as well, drifts down the racetrack perhaps just an inch or so, but it didn't matter. Then poor Jordy Lopez, you mentioned the fact that this is a tough place to try and account for when, when you're wrecking because 
you're exactly right, Ryan. There's nowhere to go here. The walls cover this entire racetrack. Cars bounce up all the time. So you can see Lopez actually tags the 80 there, slows down, and well, didn't slow down a ton, but uses the wall, and uh, unfortunately, Colin Keister probably going to have some damage This car's gone. Minter's in control. Green flag back in the air. And I'm surprised that Honeycutt got such a good launch here on the bottom. We talk about this restart zone being tough on the inside. It's even tougher from third, but he got a fantastic launch for him. He may look for the race lead if he could try to make the bottom work. Tucker going to go up and try to block the run from Steven Wilson. As you can see, everybody fanning out, looking for any piece of clean air they can find. Big runs topside on the exit of the corner for Wilson actually pushing Minter clear. Uh, Honeycutt, the battle's going to be P2, oh. but Honeycutt really tight that time. He loses P2 and almost fence Zelensky. Almost was able to get there, but what an interesting line he took into one. It wasn't necessary that he ran high, but he entered really high. His, oh, they almost touched for the race lead. Minter wiggles after a little bit of contact. That's going to give Honeycutt and Zelensky a huge run into three. It is on up front, and every time Wilson looks, Honeycutt looks as well to see if that offensive move by the 10 is going to leave him a bit vulnerable for a look from behind. Battle for four that sees the 51 of Strauss to the inside of Zelensky. They'll slow each other down just in the slightest as all eyes are still on the top spot of the scoring pylon, and look at them go. Minter still leaning through the corner. He's the leader. It's Wilson and Honeycutt at charge. Or even Zelensky, an opportunity to go on by. As Wilson's going to try the crossover here off of four. Use as much side draft as he can. 19 to go. Minter's going to run on his door. Wilson's going to slide up the racetrack. They're going to touch. And that's going to allow Honeycutt right back into the mix. Great stuff here up front all over each other the whole way through Whoa. one and two now pinching down wilson is mentor he punches back and clears again for the number one spot but we are far from over here at dover on board honeycutt in third it's wilson p2 mentor p1 what does the 10 car do this time gonna be 17 to go at the stripe this time it's gonna be outside for wilson as he tries to wind it up Wilson's doing a fantastic job right now, getting the air on his nose and trying to build those runs. You see him, he goes right to the bumper of Minter, lays the bumper to him down the straightaway, and now he's just trying to cut back underneath, right? He's got the nose underneath to the inside, getting that air on the nose, and he's just going to suck right up to the rear bumper of Minter. I think Minter got the fence a little bit that last time in turn number four. Wilson opens up the bottom again to get that huge head of steam to the inside. Oh. He goes, Blake. What a move from Wilson. We've seen him build up that momentum time and time again as he's going to slide up another time. Almost Caution. hit Victor. Caution is out, though. At the moment of yellow, I believe the lead still belong to Minter. Garrett Lowe's 89, Colin Bowden's 17. Involved in the accident, 32nd and 33rd on the racetrack. And the timing of that yellow critical, because it'll keep the 97 in front. If that had been maybe five seconds sooner or five seconds later, we could have been talking about Steven Wilson as the control car than that of the Cup Series. As long as you don't enter the pit lane, uh, you're fine. Let's take a second look at the incident, though, that happened. This doesn't look too dissimilar to what your race leaders have been doing for about 10 laps. Man. Oh, and you just see contact on the front straightaway. Garrett Lowe on the inside. Just just tight racing off of turn number four at Dover, right? The car gets so unloaded, and uh, you just see... That's just one of the classic Dover incidents right there. Just a lot yeah, of Not a lot. Of control. Oh, it's the control car. Green flag in the air. It's an okay start, but a bit of a bobble through the first gear change. And Wilson's right there. Look at Honeycutt forcing his way to the outside. Really wanted to get up and off of the bottom. I love seeing the games that were being played on that restart as Minter tried to get high as they'll make contact for the top spot. Minter sideways. He hangs on to it. Wilson, we heard he was going to try to pull a slide job if he could, but not able to get there just to his inside off forward, but not enough to try and drag him back with the side draft. 
Steven Wilson, the defending champ and already a race winner this season. He's got a lot less to lose than Tucker Minter on the door, side by side for the race lead with about four car lengths a gap back to the cars in third. Minter on the outside, Wilson all over him that time at nine to go. By the way, where did Donovan Strauss come from? Oh He's a part goodness. of things as well. You see Ryan Luza pushing a couple cars up the track back there, but your leaders are still side by side through turns one and two down the back straightaway. Wilson is pressuring hard on the under the inside of Minter. They lead, they hit! Caution as they're side by oh. side for the lead. Who was in front at the moment of yellow involved is Taylor Hurst in the 33 car and is it going to be Minter scored as the leader again decided by just inches at the moment of yellow. What interrupted the battle for the race lead? They were three wide in the midfield. Hurst looking, is it four wide for a moment maybe? And then as they come off to the corner, things actually just condense in front of him. I think it was the 77. And then he gets checked up. The 33 and the 12 finish each other off. Pace cars off and in, coming to four laps to go at Dover Motor Speedway. Tucker Minter looking to return to the playoffs in 2024. Green flag in the air, it's a good jump. That was a really, really good start, but Kate Honeycutt's gonna dive to the inside, send it three wide, three wide for the lead. Wilson looked to the high side for the moment, wasn't there. He'll tuck in line, Honeycutt bottom. Wilson gonna push Minter clear to turn three. It was a great launch and he went for it. Unfortunately, not able to get clear to the top, but that's exactly what Minter wants. He wants Wilson and Honeycutt to battle. And the last thing we wanna see is a wreck in the back of the field, but unfortunately that is going to put us into overtime as Garrett Lowe Looks to be the one that got the worst end of it in turn four, and we will have to re-rack them and try it once again. Tiptoe to the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. It's a great jump for Wilson. Nose to nose for the race lead. Honeycutt going to try to go for it once again. He timed it perfect. So did Steven Wilson. But now it's going to be side by side for each of your front two rows. Honeycutt's going to be clear for third. The leaders side by side. Three wide for the lead with two laps to go. Minter on the bottom. Here comes Caden Honeycutt around to the white flag. Do they make it back? Honeycutt gets tied out of four. Big bobble, Minter gets sideways, Wilson clear for the top spot. Behind them, Honeycutt fades three wide for fourth. One last look, what can Tucker Minter do? Looks to the inside, can't get to the bumper. Second time in 2024, this time at Dover, Steven Wilson gets the win. Wilson fights back and will become the first repeat winner of 2024. This winning moment is brought to you by Coca-Cola, the official fan refreshment of eNASCAR.